What's up, everyone? I'm Navid Marty for Press Pass LA, and I'm joined by Skylar Morgan Jones. Thank you so much for being with Press Pass. Thank you for inviting me. Of course. So I want to know about Terror in the Woods. You know, it came out. How has it been going for you? It's a horror movie, well, first great. of all. Yes, it's very scary. It's been going great for me. I've get, been getting a lot of auditions, and I have a great platform now to express myself and help other people. Well, how, well, you know, is that the first time you were in a horror film or anything even of that caliber? I mean, it's such a different genre of film. Um, normally, I have been in comedies, but I have been in The Vampire Diaries, which was in, okay, the, yeah. which was in the horror um, genre, but... This is pretty much my first big thing that I've done. And it's, it's based on a true story. It's inspired by one, okay. but it, it's very tough to play that character. And it's based off of the Slender Man, right? Is that yes. what it exactly it's is? Inspired by one, it's inspired by the stabbings, but I can't really say much of, about it. Yeah. Well, I know, the true, I know the true events, yes. which is scary enough. Very scary. How much research did you have to do? During the, once I got the audition, even I auditioned for the killer initially, uh -huh. and it was, and my mom didn't really see me as a killer. And then I got the call back for the for Emily, the um, victim, and then I started doing the research. Mm. And it was a lot of research that I had to do. I looked up what happened because initially the names they changed it all the time we had around 10 different name changes oh so it was hard to like who am i playing <laughs> but it was a lot of research that i yeah. had to do like who was a real girl will i ever meet her what will what was that like oh. for her mm -hmm. yeah what what do you like research hey how can i be a victim how, yeah. do you, how to play well, a victim? I I um I love YouTube because there's so much stuff that yeah. I can research to find all of these um acting tips and I I go to date Mr. David Gray uh -huh. and he helps me a lot with everything. What was the best piece of advice he gave you for playing a victim? I, act about to get I actually just started. With oh, okay. Him, but I didn't actually go to a lot of coachings. I just watched online videos. Yeah. And it really helped me out. I um. I loved um, looking up different coaches and seeing their opinion on yeah. how to play a victim. <laughs> and, like there are, if you look up how to play a victim, there are a million things. What's one that sticks out right now that you're like, I don't know if this is exactly how it goes. Um. Well, one of them was like, I can't, I can't really remember because it was it was a year and a half ago now. Oh. But but they were they were saying like you have to have at least five hours. Like one of them said you have to have at least five hours before you start playing a victim and i was like five hours <laughs> I, I didn't, that's like all my set time that i have <laughs> yeah, like, I don't have to, so you have to show up before even your call time five hours before yeah, sure then get ready <laughs> then i was kind of like yeah next video <laughs> yeah you give that video just like no i didn't give it a dislike but because that's just you just like keep your opinion to yourself please <laughs> yes <laughs> now what's the biggest takeaway you came from you know being in that film I definitely, um, I used that platform that I had and I really started to understand because I think a lot of people brush mental health issues under the rug. Mm -hmm. And then once I, once I booked this lead, I started to realize, wow, this isn't fake. It's real. <laughs> yeah. This actually happened to some girl. Some girl got stabbed by her best friend. Yeah. And who does that? Do you and, not have any best friends? You just like only have friends now? Like, well, it's a little bit too much my, to have a best friend, apparently. No, it's... Well, after that, I have trust issues now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's mental health, so you yeah. have to kind of be serious about that. Yeah. And now, now that I know that, um, some of my friends actually do have depression. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I can help you with that. Yeah. And I think they like having me as a friend because of that. <laughs> do you think having it's a platform really now, you know, you know, getting in this film, and then, you know, the upcoming projects, I'm sure... And do you feel like this, with this platform, you can speak more to mental health awareness? Definitely. I think I um, actually decided to choose a campaign to help out mm -hmm. and promote. And I chose the KIND campaign. It's girl-to-girl -girl bullying, girl-against-girl -girl bullying. And I think that's a big issue today. I also um, i am looking for mental health ones right now because I want to choose one for bullying. Because um, when I was five, I did this video for bullying <laughs> with my mom. And I was sick in the room doing it. And oh, no. all my friends were, were down there outside and doing the video. And I was like, no! <laughs> but but I have to, I um I think bullying's definitely a big issue yeah. and mental health because mental health is kind of a reason why bullying exists. True. It's it's um and 
I said it in the Kelly interview. It's just like cancer. People people will huddle around you like, oh, are you okay if you say you have cancer? With mental health, they don't, they're scared mm -hmm. and they won't help you. And that's, it's the same thing. And that's what I'm trying to get people to know. My goal, my overall goal is to make people a better person and bring some sunshine into people's lives. How do you think we can do that at schools? I think it takes place, you know, a lot at schools every single day. What do you think we can start small scale at I, schools? I think um, I, I researched the Kind Campaign and um, they go to school to school and you can be an ambassador and help spread that word. And I'm going to do that because I think it'll help a lot of people. Really? Now, you're going to go school to school as well. Do you think I, you're gonna I think like... I'm going to start to. I haven't started yet, but I really want to. Well, now you were in, you know, set school. For a bit of time, I'm yeah. sure, right? <laughs> yes, sir. For um, for around seven weeks because we had two weeks of rehearsal. Yeah. And then five weeks of shooting. It was. I know normally movies take around two, three months to shoot, but this one we didn't have a very large time frame. But honestly, that time was perfect for yeah. for us to shoot the film. Now there mustn't have been a lot of bullying at you know oh, your yes. set school. No, there's not a lot of bullying <laughs> because um, there were only there um, the other kids um. I think their role, their roles, um, they were doing it. Either we didn't see them doing school, or I don't know what they did. But me, Ella, and Sophie were the ones that were doing school together. Uh -huh. There was no bullying there. I can tell you that. <laughs> so we you're excited to go add K for anti-bullying in real schools now. Yes, sir. Do you think it's you know there's a huge difference that sometimes you maybe miss out on? You know, being at set schools because you are an actress. And I then... think I definitely do miss out on some stuff, but I think I. Even though I am missing out on the real life school, mm -hmm. public schools, bullying and helping out with that, I do think I can have a bigger platform if I take that risk and do homeschooling. And so I can come out here and to LA and do all this cool stuff. A lot of good help. stuff with yes. it. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and now also, what kind of future projects do we have upcoming? Is there anything in Atlanta that um, you're doing already? I am currently not doing anything. I'm just trying to focus currently on, on just focusing on mental health and bullying and stopping it. You need an award then. <laughs> Even any, any auditions that are coming your way, you're like, I'm too busy right now, okay? I'm doing too much good right now. I won't be right too now. busy, but I'll, <laughs> because I'll, um, acting is good, so yeah. why not do that? It's to tell a story and I wanna help do that. And is there anything with the youth that you'd like to see change? Last I question. Yes, I would love to see the youth change and because currently it's a youth problem because I know adults know a lot more about mental health than kids do. Mm -hmm. They just don't pay a lot of ten attention to it. And yeah. same with kids. If kids reaction normally it leads to bullying most of the time. Yeah. I, um the kind campaigns um so um what's it called? Which Slogan? Is that what Slogan, it? Yeah, yeah, motto. Yeah, motto yeah. is um can't remember. Mission statement. Yes, yeah, yes. Mission it's, statement. Um, it's, we've all been the victim, but unfortunately, we've all been the cause. Let's change it. Mm. And I and that goes so well with what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to try and change the youth and make sure everyone's, why, if, why can't we all be nice to each other? That's what I don't understand. You make it sound so nice. I even want to <laughs> join your team and go school to school at this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Scott and Morgan thank Jones, you. for being with Press Pass LA. You have so much going on, and I'm so excited to see upcoming projects in the future, as well as your biggest project right now, which is going school to school and promoting anti-bullying. Thank so you. So thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.